Okay, so now we're going to talk about a neat property that the square root of 10 has. Yeah. And so the, when you write it out as a number, or maybe you go on Mathematica and you see like 100 digits, they sort of just go on with no real pattern. Yeah, I like right? just like pi. Just like who? Pi. Pi? What's pi? I don't know. I don't know either. Um, so, but maybe there's an in another interesting pattern like we sometimes found in other numbers like... One third? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe pi had some interesting patterns? What's pi? I don't know. Okay, so now we're going to do something called a continued fraction. Hmm. Now, I've talked about continued fractions with both of you, right? Yeah. You remember? Yeah. Okay, that's going to be a fraction that's going to be something like 1 plus 1 over something, 2 plus 1 over 3 plus 1 over 4. Okay? Yeah. All right, so what we have to do first is we have to say 10 is about the square root of 3. Yeah. I mean, sorry, 10 is about 3 in something. So it's 3 plus the square root of 10 minus 3, right? That's, that's what the square root of 10 is. Do you see that? Yeah. Okay, why is the square root of 10 equal to 3 plus the square root of 10 minus 3? Because the 3s can cancel. Okay, and do you remember our little continued fraction procedure, split? Split flipping rat. Split flipping rat. That's from my high school math teacher, Mr. Waterman. Now we have to flip it. 1 over 1 over square root of 10 minus 3. Yep. How do you rationalize this? Do you remember? Well, you have to multiply it by 1 over the square root of 10 minus 3. 1 over the square root of 10 plus 3. Right, we multiply the bottom here by square root of 10 plus 3 over square root of 10 plus 3, and we get a difference of squares. And so we get 10 minus 9, which is 1. 1, and this becomes 1 over the square root of 10 plus 3. Hmm. Now that's some pretty interesting math, right? Yeah. Okay, now, if square root of 10 is about 3.16, what is the square root of 10 plus 3 equal to? It's about 6.16. About 6.16. So this becomes... 6 plus the square root of 10 minus 3. But that's, then we're going to get... That's what we had before. 1 over what? the square root of 10 plus 3. So we keep going 1 over 6 plus 1 over 6 plus 1 over 6 plus... Hmm. And it goes all the way down. Whoa. So we had this irrational number that goes on, its decimals go on for infinitely far, and they never have any repeating patterns in the decimals. Yeah. But when we look at it as a fraction, it's a really simple number. Yeah. Isn't that interesting? Whoa, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Now, I'll, after, after we turn off the camera, I can cover that more slowly. But we did that kind of fast. But I just wanted to show you that just because one way of representing a number is complicated, there may be other ways that are of representing it that are really easy. Yeah. Just like... Just like pie. <laughs> just like pie. All right. Mm -hmm. Let's go to the next thing.